Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is actually remove the temperature bulb here. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I wanna talk about how sometimes when I start the cub, the oil pressure does not come up immediately like it should, and a reason why I think that happens. My name is Joshua Ryan Blair. I'm a private pilot and aircraft mechanic. And if you enjoy aircraft mechanics as well, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So unfortunately, this is pretty typical for these smaller Continental engines, but fortunately, it's primarily when they've been sitting for several weeks. So what do I do when this happens to me? Well, I hope that the second time I try it, the oil pressure comes up immediately. And what I'll do to assist it is actually go back and lift the tail right after I start it. And I can look up at the oil pressure gauge at the same time and see if it comes up immediately. If it doesn't come up immediately after doing that, then I will shut it off quickly and start preparing some oil in a small syringe like this tube. We'll actually put it directly into the accessory case and prime the oil pump. Okay, real quick, so if you're asked the question, why do these smaller Continental engines do this? Why do you have to worry about the oil pressure and the pump and not getting its oil? and all that jazz. So to the best of my knowledge, it's actually due to wear and the accessory case itself. And the pump is actually losing its prime over time when it's been sitting due to a larger gap in between the pump itself and the accessory case. If you'd like to see how I add oil to the back of the accessory case, we're gonna get to it right now. Okay, so I'll start with adding a rag in here to catch any excess oil. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is actually remove the temperature bulb here in the back. And this takes a 7 8 wrench to keep that from spinning. And then the actual temperature bulb here is a 5 8 Okay, so we'll just break this loose. Should be able to finish it the rest of the way by hand. Okay, I'll use two hands here so you can kind of watch, I hope. I'm gonna pull this out here, there'll probably be some oil come out of it. Okay, not so much. Okay, so that's the temperature bulb there and I'm just gonna lay this here on the rag. I'll keep that clean. Now I will grab the syringe with the oil. And this doesn't take much at all. Okay, so I put that in there like that and then I'll just put oil in it slowly. And this shouldn't take much because it actually doesn't need it right now. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes but um, what I'll do is put it in just a tiny bit at a time. So when you fill this up, you wanna fill it up to it just comes out just a little bit like it did. So that's all there really is to it. And once you know it's dripping out, you know it's full. OK, 
Okay, so I'll hold it. I'll make sure it's pushed all the way in, and then I'll hold pressure on it as I start to thread in. Just gotta be careful here. You don't wanna cross thread this, so, and then just make sure it threads in on its own. Always keep pressure on the temperature ball to make sure it's seated nicely. Okay, so we come back with the two wrenches and tighten it back up. You can see here, it obviously doesn't take that long to, to uh, add oil. Okay, I'm gonna snug it up right now. It's just about there. It definitely takes a lot longer just getting the cowling off and prepping everything than it does to actually prime it, but that's all there is to it. Okay guys, so what do you think? Do you have any questions or suggestions? If you do, please drop those in the comments. I would love to hear them. And until next time, be safe and be blessed. I'll see you in the next one later.